Oh, hello! I'm Dr. Gareth Moore and I'm a puzzle and brain training author. But in this video, I won't be writing puzzles, I'll be solving them. And in particular, hopefully this. The disappearance of Sherlock Holmes from Exit the Game. And I'm joined by my trusty colleague, Laura. Hey, Laura. Hello, Gareth. <laughs> well, shall we have a closer look at this? I think we should. OK, that's probably a jolly good <laughs> idea. So here we go. Here's the box. Now, I think the first thing to do will be to take the shrink wrap off. Yeah. Don't you? Let's do that. And yeah. I also rather suspect, and uh, you can tell me if you disagree, that perhaps we should take off these silly disguises. I think so. Do, can we take off the voices yeah. as well? Because oh. I'm not sure that we can maintain oh my that. Heart space. That's better. Wow. Phew. I right. really do not suit a moustache. What a time look. to find out. Well, do you want to do the honours and open the box? Oh, I never get to open the box. I don't. I'm never trusted. I'm not sure it's that. Actually. I'm not sure it's that <laughs> no, exciting. No, it totally is. Okay, the disappearance of Sher yeah, all right. <laughs> the disappearance of Sherlock Holmes. What's the game about? Ladies and gentlemen, please forgive me for calling you at such an early hour. My name is Dr. John Watson. Oh, I've heard of him. <laughs> and I am the assistant of Detective Sherlock Holmes. You have no doubt heard of him in connection with the Baskerville Files. Oh, yeah, you're right. Mr. Holmes's expertise is of great value to the police, which is why I've brought you all here. Are we the police, do you think? I don't know. Mm. Maybe we're just like Hannah Ons. Do you think so? Mm. Just fangirls. Detective Holmes. Boys. <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't very inclusive of me, was it? Detective Holmes has disappeared without a trace. We had been trying to get to the bottom of a kidnapping in Switzerland, so I'm desperate to find him. His wisdom and talent for deduction are essential to our work. I am a medical doctor and a detective's assistant, and I'm embarrassed to say I've been unable to uncover his whereabouts. And that brings us to you, London's most acclaimed detectives, after Mr. Holmes, of course. Would you be so kind as to aid me in his pursuit? Brilliant. That's a bit, a sort of a bit of an assumption from him there, isn't it? Please accompany me to Mr. Holmes's house to begin the investigation. There is a letter addressed to me in his study that I wish to show you. Very good. Well, should we have a look inside the box and yeah, see what's actually Yeah, let's do it. In can I give you the right. lid of the box? You, you can. I mean, I actually think it would be more fun if you held it the whole way through. Oh, do you think and so? And look, there's some pictures on it Ooh. inside, some, a blimp. Ooh. Oh, Marble, Marble Arch. Arch. Yeah, with Exit and Games, it's always a good idea to have a little look at the box. Little because scan. often there is some involvement mm. in the box in solving the puzzle. And there's the classic Exit the Game uh, decoder disc Ooh. with a hand Ooh. on the back. And part filled segments. Love that. Kind of looks like he's holding a fan, yeah. or she. Uh, there we go. Fun. And, and it's got numbers on it. Sometimes it has colours or. That's true. And a window for symbols. revealing things. Fun. Um, and then we have, oh my goodness, quite a large stack Whoa. of what, exit tentacles, strange objects. There's loads of them here by comparison to what wow, we normally get. Wow, that's a lot of kit. And there are some three wooden dowels. Oh. Wow. Dowel. You don't get to use that word very often, do you? <laughs> No, because I don't do a lot of construction. <laughs> and then a deck of cards, which will open. And then look, and then, a box which says S and H. S H. Which is clearly... I would say Sherlock Holmes. Yes. I couldn't think of anything funny fast enough. So, so right. There are personal message cards. I've never oh. seen those before. I won't look at the other side just in case. Oh. So well. oh. I won't look at those. We don't um, know what they said, but they've got writing yeah, on them. Yeah, they have writing on them. It's not a blank not card. Fun. Uh, riddle cards that will reveal the story as we go, probably. Exciting. Um, and bits and pieces that we need to solve it. Answer, answer cards. cards. We'll use the check our answer up to 33 in mm -hmm. this one. I think they're going to go to 30 in most of them. I'm not Ooh. certain. And then the help and solution cards that hopefully we won't need. But we always so do. <laughs> I very rarely use them, Laura. I'll have you know. I sometimes use them. Right. And then in here, look at this. This box has got, in That's the middle, pretty. it's creased here. It's got, sorry, it's got cuts in the centre here. So wow. something's going to stick in there at some point. It's blank on the back. Um, and look on the side of the box here. Ooh, there are pictures of a town. Oh yeah. So this was I want to say London. It's probably supposed to be London. There are numbers on, so, numbers on the buildings. There are. Um, Maybe so, one of them is Sherlock Holmes' house. No, 221B. 221B. Baker Street. I would have said 221, but actually that's harder to say, isn't it? I would say 221B. 221B. You know, when, I frequently, when I frequently talk about... When we're talking about Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, all the time. Which we often are. Right, so stack of stuff. We don't know what's in here yet. Okay. We'll put the riddle cards away just for a moment. And the personal messages. Goodness knows what they are. That's a new twist, isn't it? We've never seen yeah, personal messages is. before. Mm -hmm. Let's go oh. into the instruction book. Okay. I feel there might be some variation in the rules on this one. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Yes, look. What's this? Assembling the two cabinets. So there are... Wow. Special setup. Here we go. This is okay. not normal, is it, in a Mexican game? Take the four yellow personal message cards without looking at them. Innocent face and shuffle them, then deal one of these cards to each player. Oh, okay. Oh, do we get two each? Oh, yeah, I guess so. Because math. What does it say? Put your one own of these card. cards, put your own cards in your pocket without looking at it. You'll find that during the course of the game when you can pull it and read it. So, a few of the four players set them aside without looking at them. Okay. Oh. 
Right, okay. Well, we haven't read you. Okay. So we've got two. You we've have that two one. There. I'm, gonna put, I'm not going to put it in my pocket because I'll squash it, but I'm, I'm just not going to put, put it in there. my pocket either. Yeah. What if you didn't have a pocket? Then you're, you're, you can't play the game. Oh, that's the end. That's okay. elimination. Sad. That's how you solve puzzles. <laughs> right. Oh, it says we've got 19 strange items. That's wow, lot, that's loads. It? And 11 folded sheets. Crikey. So they are presumably all in here. I and then so. sort the cards into three piles. We've done that. Um, and then assemble the two cabinets. Turn over the cabinet cardboard sheets. So referring to something in here. It's these two there things, we go. isn't it? Fun. I love a bit of cardboard construction. I've just sort of determined to win. Ta-da! I finished first. Please say finish. There we go. Yeah, you finished first. Um, right, I wonder what we're going to do with it. We've got two identical cabinets. Yes. We're going to put in them. Okay, let's put those aside. Fine for China. Where is the game board? I'm sure these are standard exit instructions now. Um, they look like it. Where does the game begin? You help them discover the secret of Sherlock Holmes's disappearance. Uh, you can open and look at the 221B street sheet. That's very vague. And begin solving riddles. Okay, 221B Baker Street. Right. So we can look at it now, right? Okay, I think we can. That's what they said. First of all, let's look at the outside. Nice. Very pretty flowers. I have to say, someone's done a good job there. I can see you don't have any strong opinions on the whole oh, no, I do. I was proficiency just, uh, of sorry, the garden. I was just staring too much. Staring too much. So that, okay, that I was I was really confused because I was like, why is that also 221B? But it's because they, they fold they it over. They make yeah. the same picture. Maybe that is relevant, that they break up. Surely not. Well, you never know. Who knows? Now, I have a fan on in here. I think this is going to blow away. I was just starting to move. We'll see. Is it? Here is the letter that I was talking about. It is addressed to me and so scrupulously encoded that it could only have come from Holmes. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to turn the fan off. But first of all, I hold this down. Um, these marks and lines have me completely stumped. But now that you have come into the fold in italics, I have hope. Since Jane Moriarty is all over London pursuing her evil deeds, Holmes is inclined to communicate in code. He holds the professor accountable for at least half of all of the crimes in the city. I mean, in the city the size of London. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> Holmes thinks she has a great interest in him and wants to play games with him. Now take the letter in bold and open it. Letter. Right, so we have the word fold. fold. Which is clearly telling you to fold mm -hmm. things. And there's a letter. Um, and an arrow and on that letter as well. More importantly, a picture. Well, also Ooh, equally importantly. Yeah. There's a Holmes' famous violin, a skull, and a dog. Oh, and there's a person. And a, yeah, there's a person. Is this Is Watson? that John Watson? I, think I don't it might know. Be. It looks like he's about to be hit by the shadow of a sickle or something. <laughs> but then down there, there's a locked box. We've got a locked box yeah. with a symbol on it, yes. which brings us back. To the fact that we're supposed to be opening the envelope. Yeah, but I noticed on here that there's an arrow as if showing us how to open it, but. It doesn't it's open just that got way. to be normal. And they're to fold it that way. It does say about folding it. It does say something about folding it. Anyway. And there's a symbol here. There is a symbol there. Oh, it's a plus, isn't it? And oh. it's showing you how to fold oh. it to make it plus. Oh. We haven't even read this yet. We haven't even read... Well, you can't read it, because if you open it up, that you can so see... That is so neatly done. That way that plus lined up then was like perfection. It, was it actually? No, Are you it joking? wasn't. Well, yes, I, I was being sarcastic. Give me a minute. Right, so you said we haven't read it yet. Yeah. You can start. <laughs> <laughs> I take your point, Noah. Right, <laughs> I'm going to try nonsense. this again. Right, there we go. I'm sorry, that'll teach me. You're being there sarcastic. There we go. Now you learn. Okay, look, and now, in fact, I don't know if you can see this on camera. I can't. If we hold this up to the light, Ooh. then you can actually make it make words. Would you like me to shine the light through it? Here we go. Right. Watson seek the help of someone who will weigh the facts only after they are finished with re-examining the evidence. They have framed me for murder, but I know you will vindicate me. The box in my study contains further instructions. The code is in the first sentence. Sincerely, Holmes. Sincerely, Holmes. So I wondered if it was the first letter of each word, but it can't be because it's WS, which is not a thing. W-S-T-H-O. But, yes. but because we've got some one, which has got one in it, Ooh. and then you've got eight hidden here oh wow <laughs> and they are finished with re-examining oh my goodness there you go three one eight three well done hooray i feel that, that would have taken me a while to work <laughs> that out. got me because that is my favorite kind of puzzle to write as a hidden word between yes, you words are good at so those. i do love <laughs> those they're my fave so i look for them everywhere right so for the plus we're going to dial one eight three one eight three into this so we'll start with the plus at the top Oh, darling, one, 
eight. I hope this is right. Oh, sure it is. One eight, well, it must be. One eight three. One eight three, and it gives and us eighteen. Eighteen Ooh, north. Eighteen north. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Maybe we don't need the north for this bit. So we look for answer card eighteen now. Let's have a look. I hope it says yes. Your champions. Well, if it does, or similar, I'd be surprised because normally it asks it you says, where you've where seen did the you symbol. Find it? Yeah. yeah. So it was on that this, first box yeah, for the top. So take yeah. card twenty-four, mm -hmm. and now we find out. If and we now win, it might say yes, your champions. Which we are. Which we are, and we are. Hooray! There we go. Wow! The box springs open. Inside, you find more messages from Sherlock Holmes. You find riddle cards J and M. Take these cards from the stack and look at them. You also find the Matrix. Take it and open it. Wow, well, we're gonna. <laughs> Why have we got two matrices? We do have two matrices. Well, matrices they're the same. I say matrices, yeah. They do look the same. Maybe you can write, maybe you're gonna destroy one, or maybe they gave them to us by accident. Do you not open the matrix? It also says you find it, take it and open it. Are they Ooh. the same? Oh, I reckon they've given us two because you can mess it up quite. Do you think so? Yeah, That's quite unusual, though. You usually, I mean, that you're expected to. Oh, it's a packing error. Either way, it's clear that we're gonna be crossing things out on this. Yeah. Right, so okay. we've got that. I'm finished so, with this. When you're done, put this back in the pack. Put so that, the pack. that answer card is finished with. Uh, so let's move. J I don't know if we finished with the screen, but we'll move it aside. So it's not in the way. Okay. That letter, I suspect we won't need again. I really liked that though. The sort of half letters putting them together. Although it was hard for us to show you on camera, but oh, I enjoyed well, it. Well, once I got the giant light, it got a bit easier. The giant yes. light. Ooh. Okay. So what have oh. we got here? We've got a card that doesn't appear to be complete. Yeah. Father. People will know poking, poking around. around. The, the black, black part. Card. Probably there's another card to go right here I or think somewhere. So. Or maybe no, even card, two. Card, yeah. yeah, it's card three of something. Mm, we'll put okay. that aside for okay. now. Right. Some card with very small it writing. tiny writing. You can read the tiny writing if you like. Esteemed detectives, I am so excited you have opened the box. It is clear to me why Watson would have asked for your help. I'll keep it brief. A journalist by the name of Ignatius Lloyd has been shot in his study. His corpse was discovered days later, bloated to the point of unrecognisability. It's a long word. It is. <laughs> on the banks of the Thames. The last article of his that was published in the London Times leads Scotland Yard to believe that I am the murderer. Ooh. And do you think a British detective would refer to it as the London Times? The no. London Times. This was clearly Times. translated by an American. Maybe it was called the London Times, though, once upon a time. Really? I'm going to Google it later. Well, oh, maybe I have been sarcastic and wrong. Answers in the it comments. It would not be the first time. <laughs> Go to our landlady, Mrs Hudson. She reads the Times regularly. You might learn something new there. Watson will accompany you. And keep in mind, it's customary to stir the sugar counterclockwise, definitely American. That's American. In the tea. S. Dot Holmes. Mm. Yes, if Holmes would have written anti clockwise, I believe. Now open the Hudson location sheet. Okay. Also, it, I remembered that I had this thought, but is Moriarty a woman? Always. No, Moriarty is a man in the original books. Ah. But in the, show, in the, in the, one of the recent TV series, there, there has been a, a woman. Dr. Watson, how nice to see you, greets Mrs. Hudson as she opens the door. Mr. Holmes already told you that you would be stopping by. He said that I would show, I should show you the wooden box and offer you some tea. Where's the wooden box? Where's the wooden box? Here. Is that it? And she's got some tea. And she's got the London Quite Times. A big bag. She's got the London Times on her. There it is. The London Times. The London oh, Times, as opposed to the other Times. Yes. Mrs. Hudson, the main reason we're here is because Mr. Holmes wanted to draw our attention to an article in the London Times. It's an article made by a journalist by the name of Lloyd. Ignatius Lloyd, Mrs. Hudson interrupts. The lout has written about Mr. Holmes and Ms. Moriarty. He alleges that Mr. Holmes fabricates criminal cases in order to pin them on Professor Moriarty. He claims that's the only reason Holmes' success rate is so high. Pretty far-fetched, if you ask me. By the way, I read in the Times this morning that Lloyd was shot. Well, let me first bring the tea. In the meantime, <laughs> you can occupy yourselves with the wooden box. Oh, wow. Okay. That does sound entertaining. Dramatic cup of tea. So there's a chess set. A copy of the Times, some stained glass windows, a world's best portrait, and Oxford tea blend number eight nine zero with the diamond, which matches the diamond here. Oh yes, yeah, so for it one does. perfect start to the day. So okay, so it starts in bold, and then we're going to blend it. The tea clearly. We're blending it. And what did it say to do? It's customary to stir sugar, sugar counterclockwise counter in the tea. Those arrows do just mean open it, right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, where is the sugar? Because presumably we've gotten the 890 and we're yeah. either stirring sugar into it or, or, we, or we are um, somehow rearranging those numbers into a different order. What if you do 890 but then move each one of those 
counterclockwise by one on the decoder. Yeah, we'd have nine eight zero then, right? Nine eight. No, nine zero eight. I'm in the muppet. If we put eight ninety in the decoder and yeah. then turned the actual dials counterclockwise once. Oh, because look, there's, here's the sugar. There's and the here's sugar. The tea there the you middle. go. Yeah, but it doesn't say how much to turn it. Well, maybe it'll be obvious. So let's just start with the tea. Yeah. So this is the cup of tea, isn't it? This is a this cup is of tea. This is the brown liquid of the tea. No, I think that's a cup of tea. In the middle. In the middle. Oh, and then right, okay. maybe this is a table that we're on. So diamonds at the top. We diamonds start the with top. the tea, which eight, is eight nine, nine zero. Right. And then do we turn the whole thing? And now we need to stir the tea. Stir the sugar counterclockwise. Where is the sugar? And what does that mean? And how how much do we stir it? Is there something on the picture that's relevant? Here's the tea set, but I don't see any sugar. I don't see any sugar. And there's no sugar anywhere else, is there? Well, where is the sugar? Here's the teaspoon. So, is it just saying to turn... Is it just saying to just turn... And then do you just turn the middle one? The smallest? Stir the sugar counter. What happens if I just turn it? There's, nothing, nothing, there's no picture of sugar that is revealed, right? No. Well, we don't know. We haven't done a revolution yet. There might be a picture of a sugar cube behind one These of the things. These different letters. But there wasn't. I just stir the whole thing, just see if there's any pictures of sugar cubes. I mean, usually you just get, I've messed that up, usually you just have numbers on these decoder yeah. discs. But there are, of course, letters on this one as well. Mm. 890. So no sugar appears. So we are clearly turning this to stir it. And here's the teaspoon right in the middle. So if we just turn the middle one, we get... One. One. That's a bit random to turn it one chunk, isn't it? Just... Yeah. And if you turn it a whole evolution, obviously it ends up back where it starts. This is the green tea bag. That matches, Which matches the green that. tea here. That's confirming it's the correct cup of tea. Mm. All right, so what do we do now? So we have 891 is the start. No, 890 is the start. 890 is the start. Um, so that tells you to start 890. is the cup of tea. We want to stir it and we want to turn it counterclockwise. So we need to have a number. We need to know how much to turn the wheel by mm. to stir the tea. Does any of these outer symbols look like sugar? There's no actual sugar on the back of the pieces on here. I feel that would not be sufficiently clear, no. anyway. and, and in fact there isn't. All right, well, we've barely started the game. Oh, no. A very a rare event, really. Time for a hint. I have never taken more than one hint per exit room. I don't so think. this is it? Yeah. This well, is the one. Uh, and we're looking for... A diamond. A diamond. The first thing that's always helpful, actually, I think, on these exit cards, when you do look at them, is they tell you whether you have everything you need. Yes. Because sometimes it turns out the reason you can't solve a puzzle is because you, you haven't got the right cards, yeah. You haven't got enough stuff to solve it yet. Um, so, here we go. Let's take the first here help card. Here we go. I'll cover it over partly. Okay. You need to have found riddle card M and mm -hmm. have the Hudson location sheet. Yeah, okay, we've so got you those. Have You'll need the decoder disc. We've worked out that. On card M, why does home seem to think it's important for you to stir the tea counterclockwise? Yes, we've worked that. Mm -hmm. That's relevant. And how are you supposed to stir something in this game anyway? Well, turning the wheels, yeah. yes. Stirring is a circular movement, so it's the action of turning. Well, that's... Okay, so these are all things that we'd figured out by ourselves. That's what we've already figured out, so we've already, we already know what we're doing. Should we take clue number two? Because I think yeah. we've got everything on... Okay. Cover it over. Okay. You can turn into code disc. It's no coincidence. There's a teacup, a cup of Oxford blend number 890. The bolder word starts, so you should enter 890 under the diamond. We've done that. Yeah. Of course not, you haven't stirred anything yet. What are you waiting for? Stir counterclockwise. More specifically, use the spoon and stir for one complete rotation. Oh, so we're supposed to look at the letters. N. I. I N. Nine. Nine. X. Nine, nine times. Nine times. Two. Two. Was it two? Yeah. Twelve. Oh, no, you're right. <laughs> Nine times twelve. Oh, that's it. Nine times twelve. Should have just kept turning it, I guess. But we did turn it all the way around. We no, just I didn't. I never thought to look at the. I was thinking the symbols would be obviously clued. That's silly. I should have tried to read them. Nine times twelve. Yeah. Okay, so that's one oh eight. <laughs> one oh eight. One oh eight, and 26. that gives us twenty two. It's funny because we spotted those numbers straight away. I just didn't letters. think they were useful. Oh, yes, the letters even. I, know, I, mean, I should, have, should have thought it. Never mind. Right. right. And we saw that in the box. 19. Okay. It's got to be correct. You were able to open 
yes. Well stirred, detective. Thank you. Yes, we were stirring for ages before we figured that out. Well, not that <laughs> long, but you were able to solve the riddle and open the box. You find riddle cards G and Q. Take these cards from a stack and look at them. And look at them. Right. Well, that was the only half card that we're going to use for this whole thing. It so. was. It's G and, and Q. Okay. And then we don't need anything else. Ooh. Lots of text. So okay. these are going to ultimately go together. But never but again, pull. That's one and that's three. So we're not never pull further than you people will know that you both you know. <laughs> right. Esteemed detectives. Well, I cannot deny the fact that Lloyd's article has infuriated me. It never would have driven me to murder. However, for Scotland Yard, I am the prime suspect. That's why I had to go underground and am now counting on your support. I will be conducting my own parallel research while in hiding. If I discover anything new, I will get the information to you. You can always recognise my messages by these initials, SH. Which absolutely nobody could forge, ever. No, you're right. <laughs> I doubt the inspector, my friend Aaron, from the forensics lab, will be volunteering mm. any more information. Still, you should seek them out and try to find more information about the scene of the crime and the corpse. Now open the Scotland Yard and forensic lab. Mm. Location sheets. Okay. okay, fun. Is there a particular order? It's funny, there's arrows telling you how to open them. Well, you know, you might get stuck on that puzzle, but you can solve the rest. <laughs> Imagine the greatest puzzle of all. Imagine all how the to people unable to open paper. a bit of paper. Right. Okay. I don't suppose it matters which order we do them in, does it? Well, I don't know. It might, actually. I mean, probably not. Do you but think they fit together? Sometimes it would help. I mean, weird, but ah. no. <laughs> okay. All right. Should we read that text? Yes. Dr. Watson, must I remind you that your colleague Holmes is under suspicion of murder? Asks Inspector Lestrade. Is it Lestrade? Yeah, let's say Lestrade. Lestrade. The fact that he disappeared doesn't help. Please understand that I cannot give you any information, even if I remain convinced of his innocence. Mm -hmm. That means I can either divulge the location of the crime scene, nor tell you the results of the ballistics reports. <sighs> what I can do, however, he says, with an insistent look, <laughs> is get myself a cup of coffee from the kitchen while I leave this sketch lying here unattended. Ooh. It shows a block of houses and the locations of three witnesses who heard Stay the sound out. of gunshots coming from the victim's house. With these words, the inspector leaves the office. What are you waiting for? Watson bursts out. This is no time to dilly-dally. We need to get this briefcase open before Lestrade returns from the kitchen. Right, so this is the Ooh. entire scene here. And there's obviously this board where we can make out what mm. squares things are in. And look, this corresponds with the... Corresponds beautifully with the matrix. With and the I matrix noticed... That we've got on the previous puzzle because it has the square symbol. It on has the square symbol. And, and we've also the, got, got this, this up here, which is, I presume, everywhere same. we've got a pin we, oh, cross, we cross out, out on yeah. the matrix. Okay. And it also says we can take riddle card C. So let's do that. Should we do that? Yeah, and he's got a briefcase. With a star, with a star on, it. on it, and we've been told that's what we want to crack open. Right, there's riddle card C. Yes. Turn that over. So, presumably, this is eliminating Ooh, things. I guess on so. Here, and maybe other puzzles will eliminate Fun. things as well. Okay, code east, south, west. You're funny. Oh. <laughs> Where are the house numbers when you need them? Okay, so we have three roads. East, south, and west each have a house crossed off, and presumably we are finding the house numbers. Now we notice there are numbers on the box. Oh yes, we did. So presumably these yes, are the house we numbers did. we're talking about. What so fantastic houses! Without even looking at the other puzzle yet, maybe we can solve the star, which is the briefcase, because we can identify the house numbers by looking at the box. Yeah, right? should we have a go at that? Yes, let's do that. Do we know? Charles on the, Street. On the box, which street is, is which, which street? Well, for the number of houses, maybe, and what's what they are? Or the sort of size of house, because what we've got, actually, is a little... You can pop, you can see the outlines uh, the of houses. the houses. So that, for example, this house here looks quite a lot like it might be that house there, because you've got these two sort of gably bits. Oh, OK. And then, do you see what I mean? So it's yes. sort of the blueprint. So there's... We want this one on the end, which would be number nine here. What do we want to do? East, south, west. So east is first. So this is south. Maybe it's, literally, south. Just, maybe it's yeah. literally just east on the box. I think it is. Because do they look like... Yes. That, so yeah, so we've got a little fronted bit and there. This has got the sticking back. out bit yeah. to the side. So it's one, two, three. It's this one here. This one. Uh, there we go. Number five. Oh, what beautiful it's, detail. It's hard to focus on both of them yeah, at the same yeah. time. You though. can actually see more detail on there than we can see yeah, in see. real life. Right. Okay, so five. Can I put these into the decoder? Just, just so that we remember side. them. It's this one here, so you've got, it's this one, this little oh, diagonal. Yes, it's two. So two. Okay, so we've got the star, right, right, 592, and it says take number five. Okay. 
I actually really like that. It's a lovely puzzle. Yeah, and it was on the briefcase. Does that definitely match? Yeah. yeah it's a star. Yeah, it's so matching. 13. 13. And lucky for Sam, but I was hopefully. About to say that, you <laughs> hey, lucky for us. Or actually, just well solved for us. Well done. Lestrade's briefcase springs open and you're able to determine the location of the crime scene. You find riddle cards D and E. Take these cards from the stack and look at them. You also find three wood sticks, not dowels. Or wooden. Disappointing. Wooden dowels. Yeah. Uh, take them as well. You also get the crime scene location sheet. Take it and open it. We also haven't looked at this yet, which we have. Oh, we haven't looked at that yet. Right, and we haven't used this, which I feel we, we do need to that, mark off. We haven't used that, but we off. will. So we're going to get ahead of ourselves here. We've let's got take a lot cards, going on here. Let's take cards D, D and e. and E. D. I'm literally putting these out as proof because... And what sheet were we supposed to take? It was crime the crime scene, scene location. location sheet. We've got so much going on here. What difficulty level is this? Three out of five, it says. Okay. Right. Just because we've got a lot of. So let's put this aside because we have pieces. We have. Let's put the pile here of things that we haven't looked things at. Things that yet. we haven't looked at yet. And this, and this, and this. And let's just see what we're doing with this. We think here we need to cross these off as we go, right? Yes. Okay. Do we, so do you want to we grab need a pen? pen? Yes. Yeah. Do you want. Ooh, do you want a pen or a pencil? A pen. Let's <gasps> do it confidently, Laura. So bold. Do you want a sharpie? Oh, definitely. Ooh. So is Other this, permanent markers. There's a, are look available. at this. Look at this. There's a yellow line at the top. Beautiful. Oh. Oh, I, was about to I would it. never have noticed that. Oh, I was about well to mess done. it up. So it's, there's a pin, and the pin, according to this, means cross out. So I'm pretty confident we're crossing out the one that's fifth across. Yeah, put a little cross in. No, you've gone for a big cross. Right, Come fine. Come on. Fine. <laughs> across here. Right. So I feel we've we've done that correctly. Yeah, I think we might get more of those that. as we yeah, go along. Yeah, I suspect maybe we will. Let's put this aside for now because we think this is for the square puzzle, right? Yeah, we think so. And we haven't had anything with a square on it yet, other than this. Right, now, Okay. let's look at this that we had for yeah. the previous reveal. Goodness me. So, hello, Florence. Oh, hello. Today. Hello. Good day, my name is Dr. Watson. He says to the woman greeting your group. We were hoping to see Anne Black. I'm sorry, but Mrs. Black is off today. She replies. <laughs> I am Nora Bartz and I'm covering for Anne in her absence. What can I do for you? Well, we are investigating the murder of Ignatius Lloyd. Inspector Lestrade told us that we would be able to obtain detailed information about the victim in the forensic lab. Lies Watson without so much as a blush. I'm sorry, Anne is working that case. Yesterday she stowed all of the files into her drawers before leaving. I can't go rummaging around in there without her permission. With this, Nora Bartz turns towards the door, but on her way out she brushes against Dr Watson, who now blushes red. <laughs> then she disappears. <laughs> Anne stowed the files in the drawers, whispers Watson as he pulls the first drawer open. Now take the two strange cabinet items and the ten strange drawer Ooh, items. Ooh, okay. love that. What are we going to see? I really love that she was like, I can't tell you anything about this, but I'm going to tell you the location of absolutely everything that's secret that you can't So there's look ten at. drawers here, right? Ten drawers there. Right, and let's also have a quick look at the picture as well. Okay. So we've got K and L cards to take. We've got K oh and L goodness, cards. Oh my we've also got these cards we just pulled previously. We've just we haven't taken looked at those. Yet. We haven't even looked at them. We've got K and L cards. K and so L, and then, yeah, what's up there? Oh, cabinet assembly. I think what's that? Let's just zoom in. It says drawer, drawer assembly, assembly ten times, cabinet assembly two times, A to E, F to I, card L underneath. Holy moly. Holy macaroni. And there's a locked something on the wall with the, with the L with symbol. symbol on. These are the two sets of drawers. And I think that's it. So. Let's take cards K and Let's L. Let's take K and L first. Yeah, oh my golly. Oh yeah, so it tells us where to put L. It does. So we've got K and we've got L. Right. Start with those. Okay. Aha! So this is the card we goes with the cards we have before. So never pull the drawers farther than you must, or people will know that you've been poking around. Then look at the black part, and there are circles, circled items, mm. and they are not all the same because there are the glasses here and here, but not in this one. Um, they all have a syringe. They, they all, all have, have a scalpel. They all have a pencil. They all have an envelope. They all have a pair of tweezers. They all have a pair of gloves. They don't all have whatever the screen box is. These are tissues. They don't. The middle one. Mm. So the middle one is missing tissues. The right one is missing the glasses, and the left one is missing. Is it missing anything at all? Is it missing anything at all? No, I don't think it is. Is it? No. 
Mysterious. Okay. Right, so maybe that's relevant. Time for some assembly. And then this is the base of the cabinet, which yeah. we are going to assemble. Should we put that on the flat so we don't wobble it? Yeah, and then oh, we, need to, we need to... We need to... Let's move those out of the way for now. Yeah. And then we need to push out all these bits from the drawers and let's push them that. into the cabinets that let's we made earlier. That. Are they all going to fit in there? Well, they fold, don't they? Ooh. So which way do they fold? Do they fold... With a picture up. I think it tells us. Yeah, the H goes. That's quite hard to make out, but I think it the H really goes hard, up. They fold twice. Yes, they fold twice. Like that. Ah, I see. They fold like that. Ooh. I do enjoy the construction element of this sometimes. So this has got two lines on the sides, and it's an H. And so I think we have a specific ordering, don't we? We have. A to E on the left, one side and F down to I on the right side. Yeah, or F to J even. Okay. And I look as I presume we stack yeah, them in fit. sort of alphabetical order. Right, so there we go. So when they're in there, you do get black, white, black, white, black, as it shows on the end here, or dark brown. Um, and then you can pull them out. And so when you pull them out, they do have letters on numbers on the sides. So in marks, there's two marks, so they can have two positions, uh, one out or two out. And then you can see different things in them. Um, so if I pull it out one pull, then I see the, left, uh, the tissues. If I pull it out two pulls, I also see the sandwich. Right, right then, after what two. feels like 400 years, I've actually finally managed to construct right. mine. So they go here and here. They go next to each other. Then there's a little, is there a little arrow? Here there is, there yeah, is it's an arrow. eye, isn't it? Look. It's a, if I turn it like this, it's, Whoa, a, it's an eye looking yes that way. Yes, it is. So we want to look that way. So we, mean so we could just put them like that, couldn't we? Maybe we are. Oh, I wonder if we reveal the items shown in the pictures and then in profile they make numbers. Ooh. Don't you think? Yeah. Right, let's get another camera. Oh, that's so cool. All right, well, we now okay. have, thanks to the marvels of modern technology, a picture that looks live through here. So we are now doing the eye, because I think we're going to be pulling out drawers. I think you're right. Never pull the drawers farther than you must, or people will know that you've been poking around. And we established that this card number one, which I presume is going to give us our first number, yeah. has everything on it. Well, it has more objects than the other ones. Yeah, so it well, has... let's try and find these objects. So let's start at the bottom. Is there a way to display them all? Well, there's a pair of scissors. No. So I presume we don't have that open. Underneath that there is a scalpel though. So we need to view the scalpel. And this is in position, the second position, right? Oh god, this is going to be fiddly. This is going to be difficult I because think presumably we... you can only show two items on each side at any one point. Well, you... I pull that out to show the scalpel. Yes, you can only show two items per drawer, right? Yeah. What's in the next drawer? No, sorry, I mean even per cabinet. No, you can pull out multiple drawers. You can pull out multiple drawers, but you but wouldn't gonna, be able to see them. You can view them sideways on though, right? And it's yeah. going to make in profile numbers, I think. Uh, neither of those objects are in the picture. Uh, what, it's really hard to see what's in mm. here. What's in here? The back. That's that is there. So that is out. Um, so that's out all the this way. That's fiddling. out halfway. This is a magnifying glass and glasses. That's out all the way. No, halfway. And then this is a syringe. That's out all the way. So it could form an eight. Presumably once you've pulled out these ones and you've lined them up, they'll actually touch each other, the drawers, won't oh, they? Oh yeah, for sure, I think so. Right, so huh, this one... So we've got to do the same. We've got an envelope, so that's out all the way. On this one we've got um, scalpels, that's out one. So we've got, two, I'm going to count two, two one. Two one. Yeah, gloves, two one two. Sandwich and two one two one. Two, one, two, one, two. Like that. Yeah. And then we put and it then, sideways on. And then are they supposed to fit together? They yeah. don't, though, do they? Because you've actually got the same drawers pulled out on each one. So presumably that's meant to be an eight. No, it's a nine. Because at the bottom left here, that one isn't out. Right. So it's, if you look at only the black shapes. Oh, sorry, I was confused by, yes, that one there. Oh my goodness. So the black shapes, it would have been better if they'd been red or something, but the black shapes form a nine. They do, see? they do. I was the confused white. by this fourth drawdown, I thought that was open. 
It is open one. Oh, is it? Yeah, because it's the black outline. You're meant to consider. You're meant to consider this as nothing, not right. white. Right, right, right. And if you look at just the black bits, the black bits form a nine. It would be better if they'd be any other colour. Yes. But they they are. This is definitely a nine. Okay, so that's a nine. So let's make let's put that. Let's into put the decoder, that into the decoder because we, we do not want it. to do this because we once. absolutely will forget that, and that is one of our main sillies. Right, and it's on and now. There we go. L's up here. Nine right. is here. Right. Now the next let's draw is going to be straightforward because we're just pushing in one thing, right? We're pushing right? in the tissues. Yeah, and the tissues were... Oh yes, because it hasn't got everything that the other ones have. Yes. What is going to be the meaning of this? What number is that? Oh, it's a five. Because this is sticking out. This this black bit here is sticking out, right? At the bottom. And were there no tissues on the other side? No, no, there's only one of each item. Okay. So if you look at, the, if you ignore the white bits and only pay attention to the black. This is so difficult. It is a five, It is right? a five, yeah. Okay. So let's put that in the decoder. Let's put that in the decoder before we forget. Right. right. And then the last one. The last one, we pull that one back out again, because we already analysed the things beforehand and saw what was changed. And then instead we lose the, what was it? Uh, the glasses. Yeah, the glasses. Which one Is there the anything else? They're on the left side. Okay. So that's back. I honestly don't think I've got the fine motor skills to do that's this. That's back to two, one, two, one, two. <laughs> <laughs> oh my wow, God. Wow, that was a spring loaded draw if it I ever was. saw one. Uh, right, the glasses are this second draw down. So okay, I push so that that's in. going in. Right, what can you see? I can see. A three. Unfortunately, the middle yes. of the drawer is dark. Well, the problem here is the middle of the drawer is dark. So when you see the white bit, you still see the brown bit sideways on a little bit. Oh, well, actually, I'll fix that. It is definitely a three. If you're looking just at the black bits, again, yeah. ignore the white bits. Oh, my goodness. So it is a three. Three. Please be correct. Right. I don't know if I could do that again. Right, it says 30 on our decoder. So we've got 953 under there. So it says 30 on our decoder. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. And we've got, yeah, you're right, we usually have 30 cards, but today we've got 33. Yes. An extra puzzle. Complex game. Right, where did we see this? We have to go back to our crime scene. Was it on this one? It's, yes, it it's on, on. It's not the crime scene, it's the, the, the nurse, the, wherever this was. Oh, oh yes, this? the forensics lab. The forensics lab. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And it is on this cabinet, which is here, which right? Which is number two. Woo! So now we take card two. Please be right. and we oh, are. my goodness. Of course. Thank goodness Correct. for that. Outstanding! You've opened the wall cabinet and found a lot of useful things. You take riddle cards N, O and R. Take these cards from the stack and look at them. You also find the four furniture items. Take them as well. Oh good, more assembly. More assembly. And we've also got... Four, item, four furniture we've got items. We've furniture items. We've also got riddle cards D and E. We haven't even looked at the crime scene yet. Yeah. We've got. Let's take riddle cards N, O and R before let's we forget. Let's do that before we forget. Because that is our sort of... Our short-term memory is uh, oh, well, it's easy to shocking, what isn't it? You, well, I mean, it's, it's right. To remember it, so Just like for proof, N, O, and R. And before that, we, we had also took, took these cards that we haven't looked yeah. at yet. D and E. We've got the wooden, the wood sticks, the wood sticks, which we were calling the wooden dolls. Yeah. And the crime scene. So we've been allowed to open these for a while, but just solved the previous puzzle. Yes. So, so shall we have a look at D and E first? Okay, yeah. D. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Pawn sack. Oh, it's something to do with that crossing out oh, puzzle goodness. the matrix we were looking at. Where's our matrix here? So we crossed out some things based on a previous scene, and there's obviously more going on here. We're crossing more stuff out, right? And look, there's the yellow. There's the yellow lines. So we could cross everything out on there, maybe, if we want to. Pawn sacrifice. Oh, there was a game of chess. There was a game of chess. In the sugar room. There's a yellow line here. Well, this oh, orange wow. line. Oh, wow, there is a yellow line on this. So, wait, what does this card mean? All right, why is that all crossed out there? So, I don't know if that just is telling us to cross all oh, those things out. Oh, it means cross out. out all that stuff out, doesn't it? Do you think so? Yeah, I think Definitely. so. Definitely. Oh, it's got a sharpie. Yeah. It's terrifying. No, it means cross out all the right-hand side. Do you think the, so? Line up with the yellow line first, though, Gareth. Right, the yellow line's at the bottom, and we're crossing out all of that side. Yeah. And then I think also everywhere that there's a pawn on this table, because it says pawn sacrificed, and then we've got a cross underneath each one on both uh, the black and yellow pieces, and we've only got pawns on yeah. here. Yeah, this doesn't mean that if you're gonna the pawn could take another one, does it? it just no, means... I think it literally means cross them out. Okay, so this lines up 
with the chessboard. Presumably the matrix is eventually going to be the third one up on this row. Yeah. And then skip two in this one. Okay. Right. So. This is fun. I think we've used those reveal. cards, right? We have, although we had to use the sugar room again. So I think we don't discard anything. Well, we might need them again. We might need them again. But here we are at the scene. Of the crime. Do not open this location until the game tells you that you're allowed to do so, which, which it has. Which it did, and so we are absolved the back. of. Does that doing. actually fit together with the other one? No, it's a different wall. I was no, just seeing if they different happen brick to. Different brickwork. There is something clever going to happen. Saw later. an exposed brick and put two and two together. Yeah, and then the bricks collapsed. And made five. <laughs> right. Yes. Here we go. Holmes must have already been here. The cash box and the little chest were intentionally turned towards the front door so that they would catch someone's eye. And there's a triangle. So this is referring to the triangle okay. puzzle, isn't it? Oh, here. Where's the triangle? Up here. Yeah. Right at the top, oh, actually. We oh, can't see it. There we go. As you can see, the ballistics and fingerprint specialists have already done their work. The victim must have been sitting on the chair. So we're looking at this. Here's the picture here. Here's the picture. Three shots were fired, but only two of them hit. The third must have missed its target. Still, it would be interesting to visualise the flight paths of the bullets, suggests Watson. Wow. So I guess we're drawing lines to join things, maybe? Yes, I think so. It might make sense to reconstruct the crime scene and analyse the flight paths of the three shots with a trained eye. Does that mean we're looking along? I think the furniture that we're about to pop out is going to help uh, us recreate, literally create the crime scene. Right, yes, and look. And then we're going to have eyes got holes on it. In there it. We right, go. So you're looking through, perhaps, yeah. different things. Okay. First, the two deadly hits will help from small to large, and then the flight paths of all three shots looked at as a whole. Okay. And then circle, you were just about to get to work when Watson pipes up again. Odd, something's not right here. I don't know what it is, but it has something to do with the clues that were collected here. Let me see the autopsy report again. Which we haven't seen anything of yet, have we? I don't think we have the autopsy report. No. I don't think we do, but we do have three riddle cards here that we still haven't turned over. Turned right. over. Should we do that in case they're helpful? Yes, let's do that, because they were both from the... So when we had previously revealed two scenes, we sold one of them and got this stuff that we've just looked at, mm -hmm. and we sold the other and then got strange objects that clearly are needed to progress on They're this puzzle, because they, they fit with the room, don't mm -hmm. they? There was the clock before it was shattered. It was the chair, actually, I thought was most... Oh, right, yes. Most recognisable. And then we've got those cards we just looked at. There you and go, there's again, an autopsy report. Autopsy I report. thought we might get that. Oh, okay. I think that is something to do with the back of the decoder. Oh, it could be. Because I think it looks like, if you look on the back, if you remember, we've got what I thought looked like, someone holding a fan. And I think I might have been right. Oh, we meant to clip it on, aren't Nora's we? Nora's fan. You clip it onto the decoder. Yes, we'll probably have to cut that out and do something with that at some point. And it's to do, possibly, with making more marks on that uh, matrix, which is here. Oh, do we think so? Well, yes, because it's got this symbol and it says ah. Nora's fan and this is labelled Nora's fan. Nice. Well, let's read that first. Let's have a look first then. Nora's fan is placed in the hand and quickly twirled, you understand. And as it spins, there come to view new colours of an unknown hue. Trust me now, it's no illusion. These colours emerge from revolution. Three of them are not yet known. Cross them out, leaving the clue alone. All right. Should we have a go? Should we cut it out first? Okay. Do you want cut to it out? Uh, yeah, go I never on. get to cut it out. When you cut it out, can I read the autopsy report? Yes, you can, but you have to do it um, in a special voice. Okay, autopsy report. Victim, according to the papers found on the body. Ignatius Lloyd, age unknown. Death by gunshot, two deadly hits from close range. Weapon with high penetrating force. Corpse was dragged away and thrown into the Thames. Discovered today, washed up on the banks. Body bloated to the point of unrecognisability. Time of death? Yesterday, around 10.09am. I have to say, this report doesn't have a date on it, so they're pretty much assuming it's only going to be used for one day. Yeah. Dog hairs and red carpet fibres discovered on the corpse. There's a turquoise coloured cufflink missing from the shirt. Shoe size, oh hello. So we're picking up some objects from the scene, mm. aren't we? There. Got uh, a track. No, no, you're well spotted. Shoe <laughs> size 10. Don't see any shoes. No. Um... Ink on the forefinger of the right hand, hence right-handed. An old, long-heeled scar on the left side of the neck. Impressions of eyeglasses behind both ears. Stomach contents indicate food containing meat. Lungs clear, no tar deposits. Hip problems. Victim probably used a walking aid. Code, medium, large, small. I'm just going to say something here. Yeah. And it's going to be the following. That 
This is the victim according to papers found on the body yeah. that anybody could plant there. And the body is bloated to the point of unrecognisability. So I'm guessing that your man, what's his name? Ignatius Lloyd. Ignatius Lloyd is actually probably not dead. And that this is actually some kind of falsified death. Okay. That's my suspicion. All right. I have absolutely no other evidence for this. I'm still cutting this out. We're doing it very neatly. Well, I think it's important because if it's got to be going around the decoder and spinning, then it's going to have to be quite... So this, this card certainly refers to the turquoise coloured cufflink. Mm -hmm. Right, so maybe while you're doing that, I can press out... These I'm nearly done. The press out these uh, strange objects, which are clearly oh. the furniture, with bullet holes in. So the bullet holes on the picture match the hole positions on here. Well, they don't actually at all. That <laughs> bullet hole is at the top. Yeah. Then the fact, I don't know why I said that, they clearly don't match. But anyway. Oh, 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 I bet these go. I bet, do we match them up in these slots that we found earlier? Do you think? What's these? These cards, because we've got Let me this, this, out this red, oh, sorry. Oh, yes, I forgot we had our personal notes. Yeah. I've still got mine somewhere. I wonder if these, as you pointed out, slot ah, in yes, there, do, and then, then we line it up. Yeah. And find something. Anyway, I'll give that back to you because I finally cut out this piece, this piece of Nora's fan. I might have a little. Okay, you have a go at that one. I might have a little look. Out. See, it's always going to be a long enough solve as it is without us doing things linearly when we can do them in parallel. We can't see what you're doing there, though. You might want to show. Know, Did you well, show us what you cut out already? I've shown you what we cut out. This was Nora's fan that I'm trying to get. Sorry, that I'm trying to get onto here without actually ruining the middle. Oh, I'll of it. do the clip. There we go then. There we go, Brute pops force. off. Yeah. We've got to do it on the other side. Put it back on. What a you beautiful fan. What a beautifully cut out. Thank you. Thank you very much. Not my first time actually. Not your first time cutting out a fan? Mm -mm. Well, cutting things out generally. I don't cut out lots of fans. Go on. Go on, you spin it. Ooh. Ooh! That's so cool. I don't know what it does, but that was awesome. Because the, how does that work? The cut, it's that's so, mad. So I don't think you can see because of the light. There shine. you go. That's a bit more like it's it. It's red, green, and blue. But if we spin it, Whoa. we get the colours of the rainbow: blue, yellow, red. Let's do it again because I want to see that. That's it's, awesome. It's so fun. Pink, green, cyan, red, yellow, blue. What did it say? Nora's fan is placed in the hand and quickly twirled, you understand. As it spins, there comes to view new colours of an unknown hue. Trust me now, it's no illusion. These colours emerge from revolution. Three of them are not yet known. Cross them out, leaving the clue alone. Okay, so... Maybe. What, so, what we've got... So, red, green and blue appear on there. And the new colours are pink, cyan and... Yellow? Would you agree? Yeah, it's very clever. It is. That's really awesome. And just while my brain is on it, we have oh, colours on what here. Oh, I what we're going to do with this information. Is that, yes, no, you're quite right. Is that right? Yeah, you must be Do you be think? Right. Yeah, because look, it has the cross out yeah. symbol. You're clever, clever, clever. Thanks. So what are we doing? So cr it says you, three of them are not yet known, so they must be the new colours. Cross them out, leaving, cross them the, out, clue leaving alone. the clue alone. And then, so I think, well, once we've crossed them out... What does it mean, leaving the clue alone? This I is the clue. No, I think we will, something will emerge on here. Yeah, uh, but what does it mean, leaving the clue alone? Does it mean just don't draw here? I, oh, I thought it meant then the clue will be revealed on here. It will only, what's left on here... Oh, right. So let's just check definitely what those new colours are. So one of them is pink, right? Pink. So let's cross out anything that's pink on here. Do you think it's this? this... I think it, it sort of kind of looks lilac-y to us. Oh, no, it is that colour for sure. Do you sure. think so? Yeah. OK. So cross out the ones which are that colour. Yeah. Um, OK. That is? Yeah, I think that's everything. Right. And then what else was there? That is so cool. Green cyan. A light blue, right? Yeah, light blue. That's so awesome. And then was it yellow? Let's yeah, because... Let's do it again. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. So, and there's yeah. also red, green, and blue, but they're already on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so then it's the just yellow the as well, though. Yellow. Right, now I think we still need to eliminate stuff. Mm, I think you might be right. Because I don't think it, Moriarty, Sherlock, Scotland Yard, presumably three things will be left, and it'll be like the explanation with a code to yeah, enter somewhere. Yeah, maybe. Okay, that was I awesome. I reckon we've used that and that. And now we yeah. can go back to and this for That now. is the decoder disc, though, so we'll keep we'll that. We'll need a decoder disc. We'll still. keep that, put that there. And look, we've got the three wooden dowels as well. I'm sorry, the, the wood, wood sticks. Sorry, wood sticks. And as you say, we reckon this goes in the box. Possibly. So the first puzzle is the triangle puzzle, and that is lining up these shots, I think. Yes. So we presumably put them in. When we say slots, we mean there are sort of little cutout holes in the box here that we think we'll be able to stand a card up. And presumably we put them in in the order, in terms of perspective, that we would see them on this original picture. Well, it does say the two deadly hits will help from small to large. Yeah, maybe it's the order you see them in the picture. I agree. So, so here are the three objects, four objects we have. And what's in the picture? What comes? Yeah. Well, the, okay. So this is smashed at the so back. The vase is at the front. The vase is smashed at the front. Yep. Yeah. And then the chair's then the got chair. bullet holes in. And then this is in front of the chair. Yeah. So we're expecting to put four things into the box then. I right. think so. Oh, and there are four slots. Look. The, yeah, that's what I mean. And here is the eye. So we're looking from this side. Yes. All right. I have to say, I think the cabinet drawers were maybe the most fiddly thing I've ever experienced. So we've got and the four cards. We've got the four cards like lined up. And now we're sticking the dowels through. Oh, I didn't even. First, the two deadly hits will help small to large. So we're we recreating. Yeah, there's two hits. Oh, the two deadly hits. The two deadly hits. So there are three. Well, maybe we push the cards through. We trace the. I don't know if we see this. Maybe we trace the path of the bullet. So this bullet goes up here, like that, and hits the two. Hits the bat, okay. And this bullet here. Ah, cool. Goes through here. And hits the. I don't know if you can see there, but it hits the six, six. And right in the middle of them, too. And then this one's going to have to go at a funny angle. Oh, this is the not a deadly bullet. This misses. That one doesn't hit anything, right? Does do that we, make sense? Do we definitely know that that's the angle that that goes in at? No, not at all. What does it say? First, the two deadly hits will help from small to large. And then the flight paths of all three we looked at as a whole. Which gives you ooh, a like four. four. Oh, we've kind of lost this, haven't we? One just needs oh, yeah. to go in through there. Which is a four, right? So the first two. Oh, it's a stylized four, isn't it? Yeah. And then first of all, from large to small, the first two deadly hits from small to large, sorry. From small to large. Oh, the big large. numbers from small to large. So we've got two is the small number and six is the bigger number, right? So we've got two, six, four. For our code, from Two, the bullets, six, from our ballistic analysis. Okay, and then we're very clever. On, starting very on the clever. triangle, yeah, I like that. That is so clever. I do like an eyeline puzzle. Well, Two. we didn't even need to peer through it with our eyes. No, that's true. I've got twelve here. Okay. And Let's the letter F also. Okay, okay. Now what's it on? We saw it on. It's on this box up here. Oh right. Okay. Well spotted. So that's this Number one. Ten. ten. <laughs> Moment of truth. I feel confident. <laughs> Yay! Very good! You've managed to reconstruct the flight paths of the bullets and open the small chest. Inside you find the newspaper article deposited by Holmes, the one that Mrs Hudson was talking about. You find riddle card A. Take this card from the stack and look at it. Right, so we take Perfect. riddle card A. Right, riddle card A is there. Go on. Here's what it says. In London, Sherlock Holmes... Oh, wait, it's so a London Sherlock game, Scotland Yard, Moriarty... There's some certain words underlined. Yeah. And those are the words... That all appear here. Oh, yeah, right. And we cross them out. So I think we actually don't even care what it says. Oh, uh, well, you these never out. know. It might say halfway through, definitely don't cross these words out. In London, Sherlock Holmes is playing a dirty game right in front of the eyes of Scotland Yard in the past. The self proclaimed master detective has accused Professor Jane Moriarty of committing all kinds of crimes. Oddly enough, not a single one of these crimes was able to be proven. After months of research, I now have evidence showing that Holmes himself committed all of them. Following lengthy consideration, I have decided to publish this article and a picture of the perpetrator in the London Times so that he may be found and taken before a court. Keep your eyes and ears open. 
Inspector Lestrade welcomes any tips from the public. Ignatius Lloyd. Ignatius Lloyd. He's got real bone to pick, hasn't he? Yes. But I think you're right. Should we cross those things off? Now? Yes. You never know, though. We might have, you know, wouldn't no, we have felt very silly? Well, let's do it carefully. So the first one is okay, London. London. Where's that? To here. Sherlock. Lestrade. It. It was game me. I'm pretty sure. Game. We've got game at the top just here. Oh, right. We missed that one. It was me. It was me. Six, three, Six, seven. Three, seven. And what? We don't have a circle for that. But we though. don't have anything. Oh, it's no. What's the we've square? Got the square. But what's we try the square that? on? We need to see if we have the square. Do we have the square? We need to have a picture of a square to be able to do it somewhere. Otherwise, we can't open the object if we don't we know what the object is. The There's a circle here which we haven't done. We haven't done we'll the circle. We'll come back to that in a minute. Well, maybe that will reveal the square to us. Yeah, and the circle goes with this. Yeah. Uh, if we look on all the other stuff we've had in the past. There were no squares. No, open, right? I don't think we've seen anything else. Okay, well, we'll come back to that then. We'll okay. put this aside. So we've solved, clearly solved that puzzle, which is very clever the way it ran through everything. Mm, but we'll just really go back like to this. We do need it. Um, oh, yes. <laughs> so the top two report referred to one for a start, the, the, the uh, cufflink, right? The turquoise coloured cufflink. Yes. So you're just trying to get to work and watch some pipes up. Odd, something's not right here. I don't know what it is, but it has something to do with the clues that were collected here. Let me see the autopsy report again. So I'm assuming some stuff in this picture shouldn't be there in some way. So death by gunshot, two deadly hits. So yes, those are presumably the ones in the chair that hit him. Yeah. Uh, thrown into the Thames. Discovered today, washed up on the banks. Body bloated, unrecognisable. Time of death yesterday around 10.09am. Is that relevant to the clock? Would we be able to see that on the clock? Not if it's all... Not if it's all mangled. And 10.09 on, on, on the cardboard one. Say. I think the cardboard one has a time on it. It does say 10.09, yeah. It says 10.09. Roughly. So that's probably not relevant. Um, dog hairs and red carpet fibre. So we've got a red carpet and there is a dog bowl down here. Oh, yeah. Ooh, shoe size 10. That's shoe size is 11. That's 11. Okay. Interesting. Ink on the forefinger, the right hand, hence right-handed. So he's been writing here. But that pen is on the left-hand side of the page. Yes, which would suggest... That he's actually... Left-handed, possibly. Yeah. I mean, it could might not suggest any such thing. No. But if you were to naturally put the pen down in front of you... And you were right-handed. You were right-handed, you put your right. Yeah. But, I mean, it might have been moved. But anyway... Interesting. An old long-heeled scar on the left side of the neck. Eyeglasses behind both eyes. Oh, there we go. Look, impressions of eyeglasses behind both eyes. But we see a picture of him wearing eyeglasses. Yeah, so that seems about right. Um, behind both ears, not eyes. Stomach contents indicate food containing meat. Well, that could be meat. Yeah, it's, it's a bone. It's a bit it's like a, bone. a chicken, no, doesn't it? A bone, yeah, yeah, it's a chicken leg. Lungs clear, no tar deposits. Right, so are there cigarette so, remains Or a pipe here? or anything. Yes, there's a there pipe, a pipe. So the pipe is incongruous. Okay, so the pipe is incongruous. Well, look, well this seems to be sort of on display, yeah. so who knows... Hip problems, victim probably used a walking aid, which is here, number two. So I think it's the three things that don't quite match up. So the wrong shoe size, for example, yeah, possibly the, the left-handed. And then the pipe. And then the pipe. Yeah, because this does match up. If he's got a missing cufflink, well, here it is on the floor. Yeah, yeah. Right, so we want medium, large, small. Let's assume this is values. So we have eight, six, three. So medium is six, large is eight, small is three. So... Six, Six, eight, eight three, three is on the circle. Our suspected code for the Let's circle to open this. Yeah, okay, so circle on top, and we said six, eight, three, and that gives us 27. 27. Dun. Ooh, maybe right. And it's on this sort of. This here, right? Yes. Different colour, but it's obviously the same object. Mm. Okay. Ooh, unbelievable! The evidence reveals that the corpse in the forensic lab was not the person who lived in this apartment. I told you. You just had an eye. So that. Well who done. is it? I read a lot of crime novels. So who was it that died? And is Lloyd still alive? We should probably ask the people at the London Times if anyone knows anything about Lloyd. It would be them. You find the London Times location sheet. Take it and open it. Should we zoom out? No, because we're going to read Are it. We're going to zoom in. It might be small. Here we are, finally, at the London Times. Oops. Did Inspector Lestrade send you? Asks one of the editors as he greets you. No, why? Do you need the inspector's help? Asks Watson. Um, well, he stammers, Mr Holden has finished without a trace. 
Holding is the editor-in-chief of the Times. Watson explains to you before turning back to the editor. Why might Mr Holding have disappeared? Well, you likely know that we printed an article about Mr Holmes and his professor a while ago. A few days ago, Holding received an anonymous phone call. The caller was claiming that the author of the article didn't even exist. Well, Mr Holding wanted to get to the bottom of it and left the editorial office in a rage. We assume he was setting out to pay this Mr Lloyd a visit. Now, you'll have to excuse me. I still have to place this ad for the morning edition. It's an unusual one, delivered anonymously and paid for in advance. <laughs> Watson inquires, may we see the ad before you post it, please? That sounds quite right. suspicious, doesn't it? Yes, this is the edge of the page here. So the solution to the case will be right in front of you. If you resist the temptation of the supposed solution, is it the real solution or is it just fantasy? Code is from top to bottom. It doesn't say, is it just fantasy? Um, code is from top to bottom. So we've got an SH again. Oh, here we go. It's the... It's this. It says, hang on a second though, look, if you look at the underlying words, it says, to the right of the re of the supposed solution is the real solution. Oh. So, to the right of it, we've got Moriarty. So is it, yes. Oh no, what does that say? Is. Moriarty is Lloyd. Lloyd, well, shocker. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, zero, nine, two, right? Zero, nine, two. Yeah, very Should clever. Should we put that in? Oh, definitely, for the square. And that's on the square, which yeah. is up here. Um, let me put that here. What do we say? Zero. Nine, two. Zero, nine, two. How many answer cards have we got left? Or how many <laughs> riddle cards? We've actually got loads of riddle cards left. 21, anyway, I'm getting there. Right. So we and saw that we on this on? filing cabinet here. Oh, I'm glad one of us saw it. Mm -hmm. It's off the top of the screen, but it's here. Sorry, yes. And that gives us number seven. Yeah. Excellent! Uh, look! Look, Dr. Watson! <laughs> I can't remember what voice I was doing. I look, Dr. Remember. Watson! Cries the editor. Lloyd is over there. He seems to be in a hurry. That's not Lloyd. That's Moriarty. Let's go! Cries Watson and races off. Reaching the street, Watson reaches into his vest pocket for change for the carriage fare, but instead pulls out a folded piece of paper. You find riddle card U. Take this card from the stack and look at it. All right. Most intriguing. Oh my Ooh, god, it's so much really more tiny. writing. Yes. Watson, I'm reporting from underground. I can't stay you know what this is Sherlock, right? Oh yes. You can have his hat if you like. Oh, so I need to have his hat. There you go. It's got a magnifying glass. We actually probably could really use a magnifying glass here. Does it there you go. Watson, I'm reporting from underground. I can't stay hidden much longer. I have managed to pass a personal message to each of the detectives. But keep in mind that they are personal messages. Under no circumstances are the detectives to disclose any of the information contained within them. After all, Lestrade's people are everywhere. It's going to be one of those really annoying puzzles where you need to not tell each other what you're reading. Yeah, I think so. A boy addresses you. Uh, Moriarty. Boy, he's a very old boy. Yeah. Moriarty uh, fled in a carriage. I belong to Holmes' Street Boy Network. The Baker Street Irregulars, right? We Baker Street boys have eyes and ears everywhere. Moriarty fled in this direction. The other guys... Why is he using the pipe still? The other guys definitely saw the carriage too. Wow. We really travelled around with that accent. We that did. Well, no, because it was the second, was the second person No, then. absolutely. No, but even within the second oh, person... My we travelled around quite place. a lot. Now pull the personal message out of your pockets oh, and read yes. them. Also take riddle cards B, F and P. Is that right? Yes. Along with the city map and open it. Right. Okay. Well, it's not going to be that private when we're doing it on video, is it? I'll read mine first. Oh my God, the text is even it's smaller than it was cool. before. Honestly, I think they need to use bigger decks of cards. Shall we take riddle cards B, F and P before Let's we go any that. further? And also the city map. I don't want to tell you map. what's in my personal message. Well, I haven't read mine, so I can't tell you what's in mine. So the, like, city, the city map, you have? The, no, I haven't. The city map, okay, let's zoom go. out. Gosh, the city me. map is a map of London with lots of people around the edge. Lots including of people. Tony. Are we going to triangulate people, do you think? Oh, goodness. Yeah, and then on the back I think it's just blank. Okay. Right, B, F, G. And P. No. <sighs> Sorry, this, this too much roll dial. <laughs> yes. Cited to Moriarty's carriage by the Baker Street boys. Okay, various times after five. There are certain numbers that are just in bold. Mm -hmm. Follow the path of the carriage in a straight line from sighting to sighting found on the city map. You have to act like a rebel to find the answer. Okay, number of path squares in south east, south west, north west. Okay. Um, we are the Baker Street boys, and there's uh, X's. Ah, but they're, they're the X's that tell you you've got it wrong. Yeah, let's see if we can find one. No. <laughs> yeah, they're the X's go. that you get for being wrong. 
Maybe we're meant to find the X's in some way to solve the puzzle. Look, the cards are blue, like the, oh, this was, yeah. The cards are, look just like these cards. They've got the same border, right? Mm. All of these cards have got the same border. So I think for this puzzle, we are going to be using the answer cards. And maybe that's why there are 33 on this, this, this one. Do you think so? I don't know. Okay, let's read what it says. We are the Baker Street Boys. We're keeping every cross in sight yes. we are well connected and in a good position to track the carriage maybe you'll be able to use this information to open this suitcase at 4 43 p.m in any case the carriage left the london times hamish and henry can confirm this right and do we have a symbol we're, we're trying We've to got solve a moon here, here oh it's some car i thought that was a i thought that was a circle in, in relief in highlights you know oh, right. in circle. <laughs> how poetic no i think that's a moon okay okay right so that's all the information we have now then. Everything else we've used to some extent already. Yeah. Right. And we also have these personal messages. Well, I'm going to have to read it out because otherwise, I mean, we'll just have to work together, right? Yeah. Detective, I have little time remaining. The strides people are on my heels. Since you're the only person I trust at the moment, I think so highly of you. I'm going to give you a hint. Wait, are they actually all hints? I'm well, not we'll sure. read it. Well, yeah. I encourage others with friendly words. You'll be the one who shines. Of course, to do that, you have to interpret my message correctly. Your moment of glory begins when you see this statue. Which must be on the map somewhere. Anyway, I don't think it is. Okay. So maybe it's later in the game. When it comes to finding out the direction in which Moriarty may have fled, remember my words. Okay, everyone has somehow seen something here, including the gentleman at the exit from the university where Moriarty left the carriage. To whom is he pointing? Dot, 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 and he, dot, 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 and he, dot, dot, dot. The last three will certainly have seen something. Convince the others of your theory. The only logical argument is what I just provided. You have to track down the professor before she disappears for good, ideally before sunset or have it ever eking out a real shadow existence. Shall we compare it with mine? Yes. Oh, it's very similar. Yes. So I think it's almost exactly the same until you get to this bit. Yes. So you are all given different pieces. But interestingly, we were told to not use the other two yeah it's just to put them away so i wonder what that means obviously if you're playing the game four of you you will have four pieces of miss well you'll have four pieces of misdirection so mine says three witnesses who earn their money in regent's park will most likely have seen moriarty after all they spend their entire day here at the park convince the others of your theory the only logical argument is what i just provided okay and the other two are Three witnesses blocking the escape routes from regent's park will most likely have seen moriarty cheers detective convince the others of your theory Moriarty's chances are best if she risks an escape by air. There are three witnesses who corroborate this. The three of them are pointing to the unusual getaway vehicle. So there's four possible explanations of what happened. Right. Um, who knows what relevance that has. Should we come back to that later? Let's come back to those later because I'm not sure who's pointing where and when. Now this, these may be the numbers. I think of, they're the numbers of those cards. Do they match they? the designs? So if on yes, they do. Yes, look, they that do. four's got a little gap in it, like so this four. So if we turn over four, are they all X's? Yes, is they that are. An X? Well, I'll tell you what. I'll put them down. You turn them over. Four, five, six, sixteen. So I don't want to give a review. Oh, I don't know if you can see it, but there are names on here. Oh yes, Sam, Sam and Smith. Smith. So presumably, we find out where those names triangulate on yeah, here, and then we count the number of areas in each sector, like it right. says. Here's Sam Smith. Yeah. Okay. So that's sixteen, wasn't it? Marky Smith. Then we've got twenty, twenty-five, twenty-eight, and twenty-nine. This is fun. So no wonder they needed extra cards. It yes. couldn't make the puzzle work otherwise. Okay, so should we mark out yeah. each of those crossings? You can do it in the Sharpie again. Yeah, oh, always oh, use a Sharpie in a while. No, it's terrifying. Confidence, right? Um, sort of. Right. Okay, so the first one is Sam and Henry. Right. So. so I'll, should I do, I can just do yeah, that here. Yeah, that's fine. So Sam is here, Henry is here, so that's there. Sam and Henry, that's there. Okay, then Sam and Smith. Sam Smith is here. It said, you have to act like a rebel to find the answer. Code number of path squares in southeast, southwest, northwest. Well, there's a boulder. You can't see it because it's on the crease, but there is, I think, a boulder line down the middle. There's certainly a boulder line across here. Mm -hmm. So we're just counting the number of squares in the southeast, which yeah. is zero. Zero. Are we putting this into... Into the coda, right? On the moon? On the moon. It must be, you're right, about the moon. On, on the moon. Yeah. Right, so, so we've zero. Got zero. And then southwest, which is three. And northwest, which is four. And that gives us 21. 
Okay, so we've got 21 there. 21 here. And we saw this on this briefcase up here. Which is new. Four. Oh, but we know four is a mistake because we've just turned that over. What? We must have missed something out. Number no, of... north, east, south, west. Yes, that is right. So south, east is over here. Definitely oh. zero. Maybe you buy path squares. <laughs> Maybe it says number path squares. It means number of... It means something to do with what's in those squares that we've highlighted, right? Do you think so? We are keeping every crossing inside. We're well connected and in a good position to track the carriage. Uh, maybe these are the sightings and we need to track... What? These are the sightings and we need to draw the track of the carriage that went via these places. Okay. Don't, don't, don't we? So at 4.43, the carriage left the London Times. Fine. So the carriage starts at the London Times, which is... Which is where? Here. Okay. So at 4.43, the carriage is here. I'll use a different colour for this. So 4.43, the carriage left the London Times. Uh, and then we've got the squares in order. This order? Yeah, so, five, okay. so 5.04 was... Shall I find out who these are then again? Yeah. Right. Okay. <clears throat> so, so the first one was Sam and Henry. So first of all, it went to here. So presumably it went this way. Which way would it have gone there, though? So. I would say that way, no. But it could equally well have gone this way, no? Yeah. And also it's going to affect the counts, isn't it? Yeah. Because it'll either go through here or through here. Also, I'm not quite clear. Does it have any other... Oh, follow the path of the carriage in a straight line from sighting to sighting. Okay. Maybe it means literally just draw a straight line. Maybe it does. But then between the centres of the squares or what? It's just the square to the square, isn't it? It's probably like this. We're probably mm. ignoring the underlying map. Okay. So six was Sam to Smith. This is why they ended up being quite close together. Yeah. Um, then is it 16 next? Yeah. So that is Marky to Smith. I guessed it, yeah. And then 20 is next, and that's... Marky to Marky Nobby. to Nobby. Yeah. 25 is Tesla to Nobby. Yep. Yeah. Then Tesla to Simpson. Yep. Yeah. And then Wiggins to Simpson. OK, so this is the actual path. Right. Nor in the, nor in the route. So let's do that again. Let's try that again. So it was the number of path squares in South East. Four. Hooray! Four. The number of squares in South West is six. Six. And eight in the northwest. Eight in the northwest, which is one. Oh, that's wrong, though, isn't it? No. Oh. Is let's it, count let's again. Let's count those definitely. Two, well, four here. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There, like okay, I let's said. Let's try that again. Very similar, but not quite the same. Four, seven. And then, is it definitely eight? Should we just? Yeah, just I, che I checked that. Definitely one. eight. I right. bought the other one. Though. That gives us three. Okay. <laughs> Right. And we saw that on this briefcase up here, which you can't quite see on camera. There it is. 23. Right. Ooh. Wonderful. With the help of the Baker Street boys, you were able to stop the carriage in Regent's Park. The perfect place, unfortunately, for Professor Marty to disappear. You find riddle card T. Take this card from the stack and look at it. You also find the park painting. Take it and open it. If you took the answer cards with an X from the stack for this riddle, return them to the stack. Right, that's riddle card T. And this is the park painting. Ooh. Oh, this is, is this the stuff that it was referring to on the... Uh... Ah, the pointing. Yes. Okay, here we go. Right. Is that the edge of the picture? Yes, it is. Yes. Okay. Moriarty left the carriage at Regent's... Oh, here's the statue, yeah. Mm. Moriarty left the carriage at Regent's Park and entered the park through the university entrance. Where's that? So the University of London's up there, yeah. So Moriarty came in here. Let's just circle that. We already had the red X on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's going to, so we're looking at numbers, right? Yes, and then I think we're all, everyone's pointing in different directions now, and that's going to go along with what our personal comments are, maybe. Right, when you get there, you see that Scotland Yard had to put a lid on access to the park by blocking the entrance. So it's surely referring to the lid of the box. Oh, uh, yes, what fun. Uh. Oh ah, yes, and the lid of the box has locations marked on it. So does that fit in there? Yes, it does. The University of London at the top right. Can we put that in there. Right. Pretty. Okay. okay. 
I'm taking all the light from the card. When you get there, you see that Scotland Yard had put a lid on access to the park by blocking the entrance. All witnesses will be questioned because Holmes was also sighted there. But which witnesses saw Moriarty? You notice an artist sitting on a hill who seems to have completed a painting and shows a view of the park. Is that what we're looking at now? Yeah, where's the hill? Okay. Is there a hill? No, not that I can see. A view of the park. Okay, we'll come back to that. He tells you that he's been sitting the whole day in the shadows of the trees. Okay, so there's shadows pointing. There's some irregular looking oh, shadows, yes, aren't there? Oh, yes, there are, aren't there? Shadows pointing in... Uh, da, 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 whole day in the shadows of the trees. He is happy to show you his painting, which is still drying back there in the sun. He sketched all the witnesses. It would be pretty unlikely for none of them to have seen where Moriarty fled. Trust your instincts to lead you to the three true witnesses, from large to small. They will certainly be helpful in the search for Moriarty. Right. So, it must be relevant that we've got an air blimp there. Marble Arch there, which it says on the map. Marble yeah. Arch. Madame Tussauds. Uh, Royal Academy. Is the artist meant to be at the Royal Academy, perhaps? Um, and University of London. But there's no sun on here. So what's he referring to the sun? All the shadows are consistent. Apart from... Apart from... This lady here. This person here. And this person up here. Are those the three we're looking at? Do you think? I think so. What instruction does it give us at the bottom? From large to small, it would certainly be helpful in the search of Moriarty. I mean, is it just... Is it just zero... Are the inconsistent witnesses all have six. the same shadow? I mean, do they all have... The, are the three that are different, are they all the same? Yes. <laughs> the shadow's that way. Yeah. Six, well, let's try this, this first. Six, five... Zero, right? Yeah, and what order did it say to put them in? Large to small. Large to so small, six, so five, six, five and zero. And, and it's, it's this is the hexagon, hexagon. Yeah. let me just zoom out, put in here. Um, where's our hex again? I don't know why it has to be in the box though. I feel we haven't used every yeah. piece of information yet. Six, five, I'm not absolutely convinced. This doesn't feel totally right yet, but no. 14, let's have a look and see. You can occasionally solve these when you're wrong, by luck, because the numbers just happen to be the same. Yeah. Um, and where did we see this? Yeah, it can't just be the people with shadows. Is it points it out in italics? And what's the lid got to do with it? And we haven't worked out what the sun is, but... Well, if it's the, the shadows and the sun... Uh, maybe. And we've got the lid, then it's something to do with that. But we don't... It's on the statue, right? So... Oh, yeah. It's literally on the card. 17. Oh, yeah, 17. Hmm. Exactly. There were only three witnesses at the right position at the right time. I'm not sure we worked this out, but OK. No, hang on. It says underneath. The right place at the right time, in a position to see Moriarty flee. This was given away by the sun and the shadows of the witnesses. So he painted them in real time. He painted each person in real time. Right. Based on where they were, and therefore their shadows are all different. That would be really clever if the shadows pointed in more than two different directions. Yes. But so I wondered if they did point in more, and then you had to work out which was the correct shadow direction. But I don't think they do point in more than two directions, do they? No, I think they, they all... They all point one way, apart from three that don't. So, OK, I feel like that puzzle is a clever idea, which you could be shortcutted just by noticing mm. those three that are different anyway. The three witnesses were even able to point you in the right direction. Moriarty fled into Madame Tussauds' museum. She is still holed up in the building. Quickly, lock all the exits so she can't escape. You find riddle cards H and S. Take them from the stack and look at them. Right, OK. OK, yeah, I feel like we short-circuited that. I don't feel like we necessarily... Understood what was going on. Yeah. No. OK. But then um, perhaps that's why can... I explained it, because... The... They knew you wouldn't know it. Right. Ooh, H on H, S on S. So this could be referring to the Ooh, SH yes. in the box. Oh, yes. Or it could be referring to some other SSH. No, I think you're probably right, though, because that looks like, well, they're red, aren't they? H on H with the three matching keys from small to large. Then find the three rear exits at the corners of the building and lock them. OK. So are we not doing anything with this information around the edge on here? I'm not sure. Maybe that was to help us work out which were the correct shadows, because there were only three that were in the right way. Yeah. It was I neither here nor yeah, there. Yeah, I'm not sure how that would work. No. And there's no sun drawn on here, is there? No. No. Oh, no, there is. There's a sun here. Oh, there is a sun there. So we were supposed to look at the oh. sun and work out that the correct shadow was the one point in that way. Mm. But it doesn't work because there's only three that odd ones out. OK, fine. Yeah, that's right. what I mean. We kind of short-circuited it. Let's take it. this Let's take out. Those out. We've got H on H. But I'm not sure it is relevant to this, you know. I'm just guessing. OK. This is red, though. They are red. They are red. S on S. Oh, well, that's H and this is S. OK. I think we're folding them, though. Is there anything on the back? 
No. S song S, H song H. Well, if we did that, what happens? Is there anything in the corner? Does it... Well, it says the three rear exits could be the underneath of the box. With the three matching keys. Oh, they've got numbers on. Have they? It's so got zero, oh, seven, yes. zero, yeah, yeah, yeah. five, three, two, eight, four, one. Okay. So right. are they either match with this or they match on the back? I don't see any keys on here, do you? Hang on, what was the clue again? Let's take the mouse face so we can see underneath, in case it's relevant. S on S, then find the three rear exits at the corners of the building and lock them. Are these the corners of the box, maybe? Is there anything in there? With the three matching keys and small to large. We're just looking for three keys that match. Well, you would think they go in here, wouldn't you? This, this, I don't think there's anything on the back of here. No, I don't think so either. We can unfold it. Not sure how that helps. Is any of these buildings supposed to be Madame Two Swords on the outside of the box? We've got a picture of Madame Two Swords on the inside of the box lid. I wonder if they meant to match up. No, it's got that. Ooh, it's got that green arch. Let's see if any of these is that. No. I will put this back in here. I think. Hmm. H on H, S on S. But how does oh, that matter? Oh, hang on. What? Oh, I thought it was maybe different. No, that's fine. Oh, maybe have it the other way up. Hmm. But then there's still nothing to point it at. Well, something's supposed to be matching something, but mm. all the all the keys are apart from the numbers in the middle of them. The keys are identical. The three matching keys, but the keys are the same. If we have H the other way up, there's nothing on the back of the card that fits in with no. the, the box. The cards are the same on the back. Somehow we need to pick out three of these keys. Three rear exits at the corners. So rear exits of, at corners. And there's definitely nothing on the back of her. Maybe some really subtle markings. No, I don't think so. Incredibly subtle. Yes. Let's have a look at the corners here. Nope. What if I push them into the corners? Is it complete in certain ways? What well, if we turn it like that? Well, that's unrecognisable as anything in particular. Is this going to be the centre of the key? So the key is two. And this is not recognisable as anything in particular. Maybe some of them are meant to look like, um, look like the keys? They just don't really look like anything other than or a doors. Sort of Well, I mean, that does look a little bit like a pack of a key. Which, which bit? This bit here. Oh, I can't point. Here. It doesn't really But then that's repeated on the other side. There's nothing definitive, though, is there? You're right, it's symmetrical. Is it entirely symmetrical? Because if it is, that's a giveaway. That, there's nothing hidden there. How are we supposed to know where the exits are to lock? Let's just I've take... got no idea. Should we have a look? Yes, yeah, look at the hints. Right, so which one is this? It's the, the three-pronged one. Yeah. Right, what's it saying? It says we need riddle cards H and S, the cardboard inserts. Find and lock the rear exits. Why is locking quotes? That implies we're turning something, but it could just be use the key with the numbers on. H and H has something to do with the letters of the cards. Where else have you seen what the H and S are? Yeah. In the box? So I think we've got everything on there. We usually have everything on the first clue, don't we? Yeah, and if you don't, that's fine because you haven't. You're not actually stuck. Yeah. You just don't have everything. Let's just cover this up a bit. Printed on the game's box cardboard insert, you can see S and H for Sherlock Holmes, yes. That's where you place H and S, yes. Or in them the correct way, yes. The dots after S and H will help. Yeah, there's so a, that's the right way S up. Here. Yeah, there's an S there, and that's what I meant about them yeah. having rotational uh, symmetry. Have you noticed how the keys are pointed to the eight interior corners, obviously? Yes. Given that the rear exit should be at the corners of the building, it was, might be a good idea to look there. Why would the rear exits be at the corner of the building? It doesn't make any sense, does it? In fact, rear exits are normally in the centres of buildings because when you go into a building, 
You don't want to be as far maximally corner. distance from anything. And also, it still doesn't tell us what the rear is. Okay, we've got to go for clue three. The rear exit should, should be at the corner building, unless it's like referring to something on the outside of the. There's like the actual. That's what I tried to see anything on the corner, but I mean, it's on just... that basis, all the corners have got trees. But I think this is presumably a different scene. Well, four corners. Maybe we're literally just taking the four corners, but why I cannot tell you. But we need three. Well, we could just take the three, the three matching this keys. This is what I don't mean. It does say the three matching keys. Are there numbers written in some of the corners? Or are the keys different? The keys are all different. We've got two eight, four one, five three, seven zero. So each has got a different value. But as in, is there anything else different about the keys? Oh, not that I can tell. They all look the same. They're all a little bit indistinct, but they all look the same to me. I don't see how the two matches with the corner. I don't know how you're supposed to identify what would be the same key. I don't know how you're supposed to identify the rear of the building. And even if you identify the rear, presumably it's got two corners. Let's take a look at the, the solution. Here we go. And I'm going to reveal it bit by bit. Let's have a look. Okay. Hidden in the secret out of sight corners. Oh, okay. I did take it out. But what's in the... But maybe there is something here. Does it make a number? What? I did try taking these apart before, but it didn't see anything. Oh, hang on a minute. Look, what if you fold them in like that? There are doors. No, no, there are actual doors. Yeah. So it's where we can't see them. So it's where there's doors. Yeah. Okay. There's no well, door here. Well, it's obviously the other three. It can't be in the middle because of the way it's folded. Oh, no. Oh, so what did that clue say about the corners? And then there's another one here. So I'm not sure what the rear is supposed to mean. The puzzle's perfectly fine. Do, we could, we could do you think rear is supposed to clue behind? As in you can't see it because it's behind something else? As in we've yeah, concealed it. it should have, I, I took this apart. I absolutely should have spotted this. Um, They're clearly doors. So right. we've got seven. Let's turn it around. So right yeah. Right. We've got seven at this door here. You can't see that because of the light. And we've got three here and up in this corner. Down here. Yeah, we've got four. four. So what order did we need to do them in? Small to large, three, four, seven. Three, four, seven. And that's on this Y symbol. Oh, disappointing. It's on the key, I guess. Yeah. What, what number is it? Eight. eight. Okay. Answer card. What did we see it on the key? Fifteen. No, oh, 16 still missing from what I took it oh, out yeah. before. There we go. Done. done. Stop the timer. Stop the time. I'm so gutted. Well, I wish I'd known those doors Run out of digits anyway. Yeah. Perfect. All <laughs> exits are barred. Nobody else will be getting out. You really were successful. Well, almost. You still haven't caught Moriarty. Where could she be? You get the final folded location sheet. Take it and open it. Take it and open it. And here it is. Oh, mate, that's riddle card you. Right, there we go. Right. Shall we open up the final location? Yep. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's lots of tiny writing, isn't there? Yes. Uh -huh. Outstanding. I thank and congratulate. I'll put my hat back on. No. Um, you can if you are. I thank and congratulate you, worthy detectives. Holmes, Holmes emerges out of the semi-darkness into the light and applauds slowly. Only a few claps, but it is applause all the same. You have done it. The museum is sealed off. Moriarty has no chance of escaping. You have solved the case. Pose in a Ignatius Lloyd, the professor placed a slanderous article about me in the Times. Then she shot the editor and cheetah of the Times, Mr. Holden, in a flat specifically rented for that purpose. Wow, that's so devious. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Very specific. Yeah. Scotland Yard assumed that Lloyd was the victim that they found in the Thames, and after all, the shooting occurred in his flat. Because the article pointed the finger at me, I was immediately named as the prime suspect in the alleged murder of Lloyd. This cunning professor even sabotaged my underground investigations by slipping you the hypnotic fan and other counterfeit documents to throw you off the trail. Hypnotic I fan. I have to say, Moriarty's criminal prowess is impressive. There remains just one thing to clear up, Holmes says pensively. Where is Moriarty hiding? Given that you have sealed off all the exits, she must be masquerading as one of the museum's wax figures. Don't disappoint me. Apprehend Moriarty and put an end to this horror. Right. Well, I feel that there could possibly have been uh, other places to hide in that building. Yes, maybe. Look at the wax figures, one to five. One figure is not made of wax, but of flesh and bone and a criminal mind. Then look at answer card 11 to find out if you're right. But there's a riddle card we didn't take. There is a riddle card we didn't take. Well, we'll, we'll come back to that. We'd all, I would always take riddle card lowercase i because we'd know about it because I always yeah. call it lowercase i. 
Okay. One of them is made of flesh and bone. Mm-hmm. And a criminal mind. How are we supposed to know which one it is? I thought for a second this one only had one leg, but actually they're just sort of posing. So logically, either one of them is human for some reason, or other four of them maybe are not human. Like they are missing some part of their anatomy, or part of their body's floating or something. Or maybe they all have the same face or something. Or they match pictures we've seen it previously in the game or something. Well, we know it's a woman. So if it has to be a woman, then it must be number two. Yeah, but although she's been posing as Lloyd, Ignatius uh, Lloyd, hasn't she? And I feel like she's probably more, slightly more devious than to just... And is she still dressed as Ignatius Lloyd? We don't know if she I ever dressed th- as him, I actually, do we? No, no, because you're right. Has, some, has one of them got, like, an extra finger or something? It's quite hard to see. No, it's got five fingers. It is quite hard. The detail is quite hard to make out. It is, isn't it? I mean, zoom in further, but it mm. doesn't really help. It just gets fuzzy. Mm. Is one of them a pose that's impossible to keep if you aren't... To a human. Well, I think, logically, four of them have got sticks and one of them doesn't. So, using the rules of elimination, it's one without a stick. I mean, seriously, so that umbrella is a silly thing to hold if you're in disguise. It's not really very logical. Anyway, four of them have canes or sticks they're holding. Is, there, is it supposed to be that the canes or sticks are showing that they're waxworks? But why? Yeah, I don't know. Because, you know, four of them are wearing ties and one of them isn't. Ooh. Well, it's just because... Four of them are men and one of them isn't. Yeah. Yes. Has she got fresh fruit in her hair? No, I don't think so. It's been too flowers. So. Yeah. I figure it's not made of wax, but of flesh and bone. Is it something to do with the clothing? I think it's three. Go on. Because it's the only one where you can't see the flesh of their hands. Oh, no, that doesn't make sense. I was going to say, it's the only one where you can't see any flesh, which you'd be able to tell wasn't wax. You can see but that, their face. But you can see the faces of all of them. You can see everybody's face. Maybe, the, maybe it's a twist answer that it's none of them. Is there a reflection on the pa- no, reflection on the floor or something? This is some other part of the picture that's relevant. I don't know. So I, I don't know either. Shall we just... Yeah, let's have a look at Riddle Card 11. Shall we find out? I've got no idea. Who's supposed to know? Each figure has an answer card assigned to it. You have decided which of the wax figures you think is Moriarty. Now turn over the corresponding answer card. Huh? What does it mean? Then, oh. I think it's going to tell you underneath. Okay. If you're right, you'll be rewarded with bonus stars. Okay. Okay. With the hand, you get a red X, you're wrong. Oh, right, okay. Yes, you're right. Yes, yeah, so we could have just taken card 11 right away. Um, it doesn't help. I have no idea. Which one should we go for? I reckon it's the man. Yeah, for some reason I think it's three as well. Oh, I think, four. It's, I think it's three. Oh, I see four because he doesn't have a cane. Just because he doesn't have a cane? Yeah. No, I have got no Maybe idea. Maybe it's three because it'd be easier to back... Because that cane doesn't touch... Oh, well, that's probably on the screen. That cane doesn't touch the floor. Maybe it's just perspective. But oh, his cane doesn't touch the floor. I was say he's using it to lean on it. I have to say, if you're trying to hide, why would you stand in front of numbers one to five on the display? All right, which one should we try? You reckon three? I've got no idea. You reckon three, I reckon four. I don't know two why I reckon four. No, I don't know this why I reckon three. This is two with three. moustaches. I wondered that, but... But there's two people who do have moustaches. He doesn't have a moustache. He doesn't have a moustache. I think it's just the poses... I think... Presumably, she wouldn't have a moustache. I think it does have to be three, because the hands and arms are resting. Whereas one, two, four and five have their hands up in the air, and you wouldn't manage to stand like that for a long time. But four, for example, he's, got, he's holding onto his coat. Do you think he His is? arms in his pocket. No, oh, in which case it could be four, too. Uh, so four is 32. We haven't got 32 before. Well, now, you see, now I remember which of these... Oh, there we 32. go. 32. I was going to say, now I remember which of these are... Oh, X's. Those ones, yeah. Outstanding. You actually managed to nab Jane Moriarty. You likely recognised her. After all, you crossed paths with her as Nora Bartz in the forensic lab. Did we? So, wait, who was it? It was three? No, it's four. Four. Oh, so the clue is completely wrong. It says one of is not made of wax, but of flesh and bone. And I took that to be, you're supposed to identify which one is not made of wax. But it's just a bit of chit-chat. I actually said, should we look through the pictures of people we've seen before? 
and we didn't do it because we thought that clue meant that you had to um, work it out by looking at the picture, but it doesn't mean that. It means who have you seen before? Well, I don't understand. I don't understand how it's a clue it's at trying all. To, it's not a clue at all. It's in fact it's deeply misleading. Um, but it's what I said before I thought about it. <laughs> it's, the, it's the person. Lab. It's the person you've seen before. Oh well. <laughs> I'm not entirely clear that we would identify these as the same person, even if we had. Is it because she's got a a dark mark on her face? Is that meant to be a mark? Is that? I mean, there's just. I thought she had a, a pipette or something there. Oh, okay. It was a mo Is that what's supposed to be distinguishing? The mole on her right cheek was a dead giveaway. Honestly, if you were trying to be in disguise, you would cover over your mole and with also, makeup. If you were going to all the other efforts. That, these are, that's really not obvious on the no, picture the at all. No, the pictures are so small. I mean, it's actually this size in reality. Here's my hand for comparison. It's very, very small, as you can and see. And also quite blurred. Yeah, these, both these images are blurred. Right, also looks a bit evil. OK, I don't think even if we'd gone through those pictures, we would have identified them. No, absolutely not. OK. Anyway, with that joyous end... You what? actually managed to nav her. Yeah. <laughs> So hang on, let's. I just want. I haven't read all this. I'm so busy being shocked. You actually recognised after all. After all, you already crossed paths with her as Nora Bart in the forensics lab. That's where she slipped you the hypnotic fan, which I did enjoy. To be fair, the mole on her right cheek was a dead giveaway. The moustache that you just ripped off her face should also have looked familiar, as it was one just like it was in one of the drawers in the forensic lab. Well, there we go. You happily call Inspector Lestrade to immediately arrest Moriarty. We'll meet again, she calls out to you as she's led away in handcuffs. For your awesome detective work, you get two bonus stars. I don't think we do get two bonus stars for no. that, to be honest. Well, also, that moustache, it's not like it's a you know a really twiddly poire moustache or something that's really recognisable. It's just a splatty moustache. How would you recognise the same moustache? Is it the same person in other pictures, or is it just her in the forensics lab? It's, no, the others are irrelevant, right? This is just the woman in the forensics lab. Yeah. I'm not even sure that makes much sense. What did the person in the forensics lab actually say to you? She was like, I've got to go. I'm Nora Bartz and I'm covering for Anne in her absence. I'm looking for this moustache. I have to say, if this woman is Moriarty and you recognise them, then you would think that if she brushed against Dr Watson who blushed, that he would notice that it was Moriarty. the person he recognised. And why was she in here anyway? What, whatever. I don't feel that bit of the story I works. really genuinely have no idea how you were really supposed to identify those because no. I don't actually think you can pick out that mole clearly enough on that picture. Oh, here, no, you can't. And the clue is the clue is misleading. But anyway, let's put that aside. Let's put that what aside. What do we think of the rest of the game? There were some truly brilliant puzzles in there. There were some there. really great puzzles, and I think I'm kind of distracted by how difficult I found that. But I think definitely my favourite was probably the fan. Loved the fan. Oh, very clever. The really, spirit. really clever. Cool. I like, oh, it's falling apart completely. Yeah, but this that was one a good with the dowels going through. Yeah, I really like targeting, that. Targeting and then it being mm -hmm. a fall from above. And I also liked this. I like a puzzle that loops back, but this puzzle where you crossed everything off bit by bit, I quite like something that has a slow reveal. Although it yeah. didn't really reveal anything that we weren't massively suspecting. No, it was a, in a sense a shame that we completed it before we got to the point where I we know, could use I know, I just wonder if that was going to be the sort of final big reveal and then we already had a million riddle cards left. And this one I think flawed. Really confusing and absolutely no idea what our personal messages were about. Oh, I, I, In fact, we should find out what our personal messages yeah, so were we had, about. so we had these four cards. I mean, I can zoom back in, I just made a mess of the desk. <laughs> you, can't, you can't actually see, it's not under the camera. We had these four cards that told you, gave you little hints about this puzzle. Yeah. But they were completely meaningless. But were they definitely about that puzzle? So whom is he pointing? And he and he... Yes, it's with this one, which was the symbol we had for this this, this card on the prompt card. Right. Um, Moriarty's chances are best if she escapes by air. OK, that, that refers to this. Oh, the Zeppelin, yeah. Um, convince the others of your theory. And this one. Three witnesses who earn their money or have seen them. They spent the entire day here. Well, I mean, yes, that was actually the correct one. Convince the others of your theory through witnesses blocking the escape routes. So, were we? Is that just to cause chaos? So that when we actually yeah. get to this puzzle in the park, everybody's got a different. Everyone's got a different theory about why it's certain people, but that doesn't really work. I'm not sure that works because we we also knew from the off the bat that two of those other cards weren't going to be used. Mm, so if true. they don't directly affect the puzzle, then we would have been. That's true. It would have been all right to leave them, but if they did change the course of the puzzle, then we would have needed them. So That's a very valid point. What is that exact wording in the book? Let's have a look. Because um, I actually, I, I quite like that element of you all knowing something different. That could have been really cool. Yeah, set the extra personal messages at the edge of the table without looking at them. So that immediately tells you you don't need to read them. Yeah. Well, 
that doesn't. But the fact that the game doesn't then tell you to take them mm. tells you that you don't need them. So that's a bit flawed, I feel. Uh, why would you deliberately want people to act as red herrings? I'm not sure. And then these puzzles here. Whilst oh. very clever. I love, honestly, a beautiful idea, but so fiddly so put together fiddly. that it actually it's kind of detracted bit, from just how beautiful bit it was. Too, a bit too small. But, I mean, what can they do? And It's yeah. very creative and clever. Anyway, I... There were some really nice puzzles in there mm. and a couple of quite tricky puzzles. And I feel that some of them weren't very well prompted. Yes. None of, nonetheless, yeah. they were all solvable, apart from the thing with the mole at the end. You could obviously spot that. But it is such a small, tiny Tough. detail. And it's so misleadingly clued. But I, I feel that so. was made a bit too hard. I think I... I almost miss the simplicity of their earlier boxes yes. where you just have a book and it's got 10 pages of something in it and that's the front of the box. And you've got 10 pages and you've just got cards and you kind of work through it. You might have a couple of strange items, whereas... There were a lot. I feel like I was a bit overwhelmed there by are the quite a lot of There are quite a lot of exits. There are quite there. a lot. And I think you have to acknowledge that it is incredible that they are... Oh, it's amazing So what many do. games in. Yeah, and stuff like the Catacombs of Horrors, two in one and... Yeah. What were you going to say? No, so it's amazing. So there are 25 regular games, mm. three advent calendars, this one's not out in English yet as a time of recording, and three jigsaw puzzles. So that's 30, Don't get us wrong, we're 30 plus one. big and exit then, fans. And the advent calendars have got 24, 25 puzzles. I actually can't wait to see you solve this year's exit calendar. So, I so mean, good. Yeah, watch our videos when we get to it. But that's just, there was so much creativity, so yeah. much originality, it's so clever. And this isn't even all the puzzles, because there was one with a kangaroo or something. It's a, a fat, Ooh. big... Yeah, it's only in German. It's based on some German television programme, a property that's popular. Wasn't hasn't been released in English, so okay. I don't suppose it ever will be. Uh, a branded one, yeah. Nice. Well, there we go. I hope you enjoyed that. Yeah, uh, I did anyway. Yeah, well, write in the comments down below what you thought, uh, whether you solved the puzzles, yeah. whether you enjoyed it. Um, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe, please. It makes us happy. Uh, and hopefully we'll see you in another video. But until then, all that remains is me to say. Take care and goodbye. And goodbye from me. Bye.